Nikki, nice to meet you. This is your husband? Oh, that's so nice. How long have you been married? 46 years. That changes the whole show. How many married people, if you're married, applaud if you're married. Married people applaud. All right. Sorry, Dave. All right. Let's do this. Give me just a little more volume on that, will you, Dave? All right. Oh, let's go to church first. Let's go to church a little bit. For the boys and girls that are here, when I was a little boy, I, I went to this little tiny church in the Midwest, Grand Ridge, Illinois. I went to the Deer Park Memorial First Baptist Congregational Presbyterian Methodist Unitarian <laughs> Episcopalian Lutheran Synagogue and Temple. When we were Catholic, we were Our Lady is a Tramp. And my piano teacher, Mrs. Randall, was old school. For the young people, you have no idea. There were none of those arpeggiators that do all this for you now. We didn't have that when I was a kid. You had to do it all yourself. Except for the Casio, the 148 Casio, the little, the little one. I had to learn how to play. This is called stride piano, old school stride piano. Mrs. Randall said, if you can play like this, you'll be the hit of every party. I got hit at every party. <laughs> and all the other kids used to come in to show and tell they'd have video games. At show and tell, they'd, have, they'd bring in their toys. I'd come in and play Bach, the well-tempered clavier. The well-tempered clavier, all four parts. I can still do it, listen. It was so neat because the class used to rise as one, come forward and beat the living daylights out of me. All right, we got all ages here. Um, before I do more church, let's do a little Justin Bieber here. Yeah, I'm a Justin Bieber fan? All right, gotcha. I know you love me. I know you care. Mom still buys my underwear. Okay, so that's enough of that. All right. <laughs> Going to try to cover all the age groups, all right? Um, some of the older folks. Let's go. Now, th that was my church. Okay, that's how I grew up. But I also was a little boy in the 1970s, okay? I was a little, and the, if you ever listen to 70s music, it was wild. For the young people that are here, you have no idea what it was like in the 70s. All they played on the radio was 70s music. And you couldn't understand the singers, like the Doobie Brothers. To this day, when I hear the Doobie Brothers on the radio on Sirius XM, it always sounds like this. You don't know me when I'm your brother. Okay, so, no, no applause, no applause. So, now you gotta remember that this is how I grew up. That's what, but I'm listening to all the 70s stuff on the radio. Right? Oh, I can do all these. skills with no application to real life. So one Sunday morning when I'm a little boy, about your guy's age, Mrs. Randall says, and now Taylor Mason, that's me, is going to play my favorite hymn, Worry No More, an old gospel southern hymn, and she played like this, well, <laughs> well, 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 it was hard for her to get into key. Life was once filled with sorrow, so much sorrow and grief. Until I let the Savior into my heart, I just couldn't get any relief. <laughs> okay. So one Sunday morning, Mrs. Randall says, and now Taylor Mason will play my favorite hymn, Worry No More. And she was expecting me to play this. But instead, 
play it like this. My life was once filled with sorrow. So much sorrow and grief. Right here, she had a heart attack, right there. So, and I love those old, I love the blues. Blues and gospel have a lot in common. But let's get back to marriage. Speaking of the blues. I'm married. My wife plays a little game with me every morning. It's called, guess what mood I'm in today. I have never won that game. They say love is blind, love is blind, love is blind. That might be true, but marriage is an eye-opener, my friends. I'm walking out of the house, golf pants, golf shoes, golf clubs, golf hat, golf balls. She says, where do you think you're going? Well, I know the answer. I look her in the eye and I say, woman, I'm going to put this stuff in the garage. Then I'll be back to find out what I'm supposed to do today. Because I don't want to have an argument, I will lose. I'm a man. Man, can I? <laughs> Preach it, brother. I know, I know. Man cannot win an argument with a woman. It's impossible because a man has the argument in the moment that it takes place. But a woman, she prepares. She's got videotape, audio tape. She's got eyewitnesses, stuff I forgot I did in 2008. She's got a drone. <laughs> we spilled some popcorn. Let it spill. It's okay, exactly. Let it spill. <laughs> Let it spill. Let it all right. <laughs> I should not make fun of my wife. We have two boys, two teenage boys, Satan squared. Hey, Dad, Billy's father's a doctor. Tommy's dad's a lawyer. Abigail's father's an accountant. What do you do? I say, son, I make fun of those guys. 